Hi guys. So today the design is going to be kind of polish intensive. As you can see, this is sort of an overview of all of the stuff we're going to be using. Of course, we'll go through it one by one with you, but just wanted to get, give you a general picture of what we're doing. But um, it's, it looks a lot more intimidating than it is. So let's go ahead and start you off. So first I have my Nail Magic as sort of my base coat right now. But over that, what I've done here is um, a layer of sheer satin slip from Express Finish. That's the color, but you can't read it. It's that sort of peachy French, but it's pretty much the same color as my natural nail. And another reason I'm using my hardener, my nails are so weak, they bend. In fact, today I lost this one. So it was only this long, but it's already broken. I'm so sad. Anyway, so we have this on, one layer of it. And then the next step we're going to do, we'll be using this blue color. It just says CQ on it, number 509. It's called Electric Indigo is the name of the color. It's a little bit sheer, it, but it's kind of a neat little blue, kind of a pearly blue. But what I'm going to do is, using my piece of cosmetic sponge, I'm going to put some polish there. And then I'm going to sponge it about two-thirds of the way up my nail. And it's going to be a very light, light in color. As you can see, you can almost see right through that. But um, this is only the first layer of color we're going to do. So I'm just going to sponge that on and then let that dry. So let me go ahead and do the rest of my nails, and I'll be right back. Okay, now that I've done this blue here, we're going to move on to the next sponging, which we're going to use China Glaze. The color is called Frostbite, very electric blue. And using the same piece of sponge, I'm going to put polish on here. And this time I'm going to sponge at a lower level than what I did before just because I want the blue to intensify a little bit more towards the end of the nail. So it, it has sort of a gradient effect going up my nail. And that's, that's really what I want for the base of this. So I'm going to do this part now and let it dry, and then we'll start with the next detail. All right, so now that this has had a chance to dry for a little bit, um, and you can see it's not exactly straight or even all the way across, and it doesn't have to be because we're going to be covering this with other things. So it's just the effect that we're sort of going for. Now the next thing we're going to be doing is using some striping paint. I have this nail art paint in white. We're going to get just a very small amount on our on the skinny striping brush. You don't want to have too much because you don't want a lot of it to run. So just get a small amount and then what we're going to do is just sort of start at the base of the nail and then or at the end of the nail and just draw a couple of sort of curvy lines. Different heights and things is fine too. This is not going to be an exact kind of thing. We're just going to do a few little lines. But now with the light blue color, same thing, not a lot of polish on there. I'm going to go ahead and add a couple of other lines. Some maybe in between, maybe a little bit shorter on a couple, just to sort of create their own little swooshes. And see how this is already getting a big blob of polish dripping down? So that's the kind of stuff you want to make sure you're careful of so it doesn't end up ending up a giant drop on your fingernail. Might do one more over here. Okay. And we're going to go back in and go with turquoise, but I, since I have so many lines here and I know the turquoise is going to overlap, I'm going to let that dry for a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and do my other nails with the white and the blue, let it dry, and then I'll come back and show you the turquoise. Okay, so now I have my white and my blue with this blue striping. 
And now we're going to go in with the turquoise color. And this one actually does have a name on it. It's called Soft Blue. And the idea is we want it to look like sort of an undersea sort of splash. And so you want to have just a little bit. And you can go right over some of the other lines you've had. Um, if you wanted to color the tip in, you could do that. I just like to have a little bit of turquoise in there as well. I'm going to go ahead and do that on this finger. And one thing that I did notice is that I had on a couple nails as I was doing this, the polish got really thick in a giant sort of blob at the tip. So what I had gone ahead and done is I took a little, you know, one of these little manicure sticks and I just went in and kind of pushed it back and took a little bit off with this and now I'm wiping it off on the paper towel just so that it will actually dry because I was kind of worried that it, it wouldn't dry. So see there, there's a difference here now with the, just adding the turquoise in really gives it a much more underwater feel. So I'm going to let that dry, finish the rest of these with the turquoise, and then we'll come back and do the stamping. All right, so now we have all of the striping polishes done. And I think this all kind of has a splashed water effect. In fact, I like this enough that I might have almost just left this alone, but I do have some other plans to make it even better. So what we're going to do is do a little bit of, just a little bit of stamping. We're going to use Conad plate number M3. We're going to use this little curve of stars here. Okay, and we're going to stamp this with Sally Hansen InstaDry in Silver Sweep. And I have been, I have, might have mentioned this before, but I've been on the search for the right kind of silver because I have a Sally Hansen chrome polish that is discontinued. And I do have the Extreme Wear in Celeb City, but it doesn't always stamp the best. So I just got this one. I tried it, and so far this one works really, really good. So if you're looking for a good silver that stamps well, Silver Sweep in InstaDry. So far, really great. I'm going to add polish, scrape, slide it back just a little bit, pick up the stars, and I'm going to place them on my finger to follow the curve of the sweep. See them there? It just adds a little extra sort of underwater effect. I just absolutely love this design. Two real quick notes while we're doing these stars. When you get to the thumbs, you may want to do a second row of stars, which I did. I did one up going this way and one going across. That'll fill in the thumb a little bit better. And then also, when you do your opposite hand, you want to remember that when you go to stamp it, it's not going to go in the same direction. This hand goes from the small star up to the big star, but because it's the opposite, it has to be turned back upside down. So it goes from the large star up to the small star but it looks just as good on this opposite side. So that part is going to be just fine. Now that the stamping is done, we're going to add one more step. That So I have, yes, you guessed it, glitter. <laughs> I'm going to use this Sally Hansen Extreme Wear. This one is called Disco Ball. So I'm going to add one coat of glitter. This really gives you an undersea sort of shimmery look. See how that glimmers? Ugh, just love it. So then what you'll do is you will wait for that to dry, still go ahead and follow it up with a coat of top coat, the sesh beat or whatever you prefer to use. With the final look so you can see how it looks all together. All right, so I've gone ahead and done all the final steps. I've even got my top coat on there, and this is the completed look. I do hope that you guys like this one. I think so far this is my favorite, um, but it would be interesting to see what you guys think. So thanks again for watching. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.